Hey there, Stampers and Crafters. And surprise, I have an online class today that was unscheduled and I hope that you are going to enjoy this. It is making my Monday a very happy day. I mean, you know, it's Monday, so that's not normally, <clears throat> it's not normally an awesome day. Monday's usually the day that I catch up and I'll put up fires out from the weekend. Anywho, well, that's not true. Sometimes they're good Mondays, but when Paper Pumpkin arrives in my mailbox, it is always a great day. And I've really been looking forward to this Paper Pumpkin one because I love to make the fall and Halloween projects. And I knew this was going to be a good one. And I, I couldn't wait to play with this box. I don't know if you remember, I posted this one on my Facebook page. Um, but some of the, one of the designers at Stampin' Up actually made this uh, haunted house this haunted house little um, castle out of the actual box the paper pumpkin box that the kit came in so I'm dying to make that just so you're aware I have the template to this um, haunted house that's made out of this box on my resource page of this blog of this um, video so if you click on the link in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com and click on um, paper pumpkin you'll find it there too so this is the uh, September, it's called Bone Appetite, Bone Appetite, not Bone, Bone, because it's Halloween and we're going to be making these super cute boxes. I'm going to show you what's inside the kit and talk a little bit about um, what's coming up next. In fact, we'll jump right into that. This is what's coming up next. So Paper Pumpkin is an all-inclusive crafting kit that Stampin' Up! puts out every month and they're, they're awesome. And you need to subscribe by the 10th of the month in order to get that month's kit. So right now we have the September kit that I'm going to be playing with now. And if you subscribe now, you will be subscribing for the October kit. Now, October and November not only come in these adorable boxes, oh, they are also going to be coordinating. And you don't need to purchase both of them. You can actually purchase one. And you, if you want to just test it out, you can either do a subscription and pause it or you can do a one-time purchase in my online store. Uh, but both of them are they're, they're they're looking like they're going to be some awesome these are usually very popular in the holidays they look like they're going to be some awesome kits so you want to uh check that out i have that info in my online store as well a little bit about paper pumpkin i was giving you a little teaser it is your one-stop box it's a great place for beginners <laughs> excuse me and avid crafters crafters it's just, i mean i've been stamping for 16 years and uh, this is my favorite thing to get in the mail in fact i really needed this today in the mail it has been kind of a weird day for me because my kids i don't know some of you may know my, my youngest just went off to college, so I'm empty nesting. So today was the day to get back into work, and, and there was a lot to do, but at the same time, I was feeling that empty nest. So when this showed up, I was like, oh, what a great day this is going to be. <laughs> I love that when that happens. So we are recording this uh, class live. And you may be watching us live. Welcome everybody who's popped on live. And um, welcome to everybody who is watching the replay later. You may be watching this live on Facebook. Or you may be watching the replay on Facebook or on YouTube. I will be uploading this right to YouTube as soon as we're done. I'm giving away some of these paper pumpkins. So maybe you want another one to play with. Maybe you want to do some alternate projects. Maybe you want some more of these goodie treats. Maybe you want the box to make that haunted house with. Or maybe you didn't get one and you want one. I'm giving three away with this video. One immediately following this video and two on October 1st with the replay. So it doesn't matter if you're watching live or the replay, you are eligible to win. All you need to do is leave a comment on the original video on, on either Facebook or YouTube. And if you share this video onto YouTube, uh, you will be uh, entered a second time into that replay drawing for the two on October uh, 3rd, 1st. I'm sorry, October 1st. And welcome, I see I see we have a newbie on there. Welcome, Cindy. This is a great place to start. This is an excellent, it's paper pumpkin is just an awesome, all around awesomeness. But it has your stamps, your ink, and everything you need. It, it's an exclusive stamp set, everything you need to make crafting projects. So it's a great way to build on um, your supplies or just start with supplies. Okay, so let's find out what's inside this box, right? Are you dying? I peaked. <laughs> I did, I couldn't help it. I peaked. So first of all, I'm just going to show you this because I've already emptied it out. It came with this really, it came with black paper. I always do an alternate project every month and I'll, I'll do a second video with that. And I, I don't know, I feel like maybe, just maybe, and I'm not promising that I might have to use that paper with it. So inside the box, we are uh, going to have some, this is the instruction booklet here that has written instructions, which you don't really need because I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these for you. And I'm gonna make them right now. And I'm going to show you how to make them and oftentimes how not to make them. And you can start your betting now on, we have six steps here on which step you think I'm going to go rogue on. I'm going to bet myself, I'm going to bet on myself, right? I'm going to say step two. 
<laughs> Sometimes, no, I have been known to make it all the way through, but I don't know about you, but I, know, I never read instructions and I feel like I need to when I'm doing this video so that you know what to do when you put your boxes together if you're not following along with me. And, you know, it's, it's a struggle for me because I just want to look at the picture and just make it. And a lot of times it just doesn't come out the same way, but I want to do it right for you. So I always make a little joke. Let's see who can, who can guess which step I'm going to go off-roading on. Also, this is kind of neat. Um, on the back here, it, it tells us what's included. I'm going to show you all this stuff in just a minute. But it also has some alternate projects, and I, I have a bigger sample of that for you, which is kind of cool. Um, this here is uh, for... Uh, alternate projects made with the supplies in this paper pumpkin kit. Now these are in addition to the one that I'll be doing uh, further on in a few weeks. So super cool. Uh, there's, a, there's some cards here. If you're a card maker, you can use this for cards. It doesn't have to be for treats. It doesn't even have to be for Halloween if you like to do something different with it. We can, we can definitely shake it up and do some different stuff. And so I just like the fact that they threw in some, some alternate projects. All right, so let's see what came in this box. First thing is the all exclu inclusive, exclusive, exclusive is the, the word I'm looking for, stamp set, Bon Appetit. And here it is. I even got some little uh, backing here so you can see it really, really good. Do I have it upside down? Yes, there. That looks so much better, doesn't it? How cute is that little skeletons? We got a little, got a little tombstone, some trick or treats, some cute little things on here. Um, these also I have. Uh, downloadable PDF inserts for our clear mount cases, which you can purchase in my online store. They're free on my blog, and I put them in every paper pumpkin uh, post. Uh, you'll find them, the downloadable PDFs. I don't have this one yet. It hasn't been published yet. So pr as soon as it does, I will put it in the post um, as, soon as, I, as soon as I get that. So it'll probably be by the end of the week, I'm guessing. But definitely by the time I have the alternate project out, I will have the insert for this. And you can, again, purchase those... Uh, um, sorry, I've drawn a blank. Purchased those ca cases in my online store. So because this one we got black and orange is kind of a Halloween theme, and I love when purple and green are worked in. And and this one is more of a black and orange and and purple. It's gorgeous grape. So that's cool, and that means that our ink spot this month is gorgeous grape. So every month you're going to get an ink spot. Again, these are great to travel with, but great for beginners. You can collect on some colors. They take our regular ink refills. Uh, re the refills we use to, to refill them. They're also great to use with the Stamparatas. So, you know, you can, you don't have a full size if you want to stamp up a, ink up a, a small uh, stamp on the ink or Stamparatas. I just almost called it an Inkaratus. I'm making up words here today. <laughs> All right. I kind of like that Inkaratus. I might go somewhere with that. <laughs> so this kit, the, along with the stamp set and the ink spot also comes with, and there's 20, of these um, foil tag, um, oh, I'm trying to blink, 20 of these little boxes. These are treat boxes. So there's two different designs. So there's 10 of each design. That's one. The first one is polka dots and it's foil, which is kind of neat, right? I like the foil. I would say this is a cre maybe a Cajun craze. It's probably, you know what? It's probably pumpkin pie, but on here it looks a little Cajun craze. Actually, you know what? They have the, the colors on here. Let me tell you what they are. So these are the two different, these are going to be boxes and we'll pop these up in a minute and, and put them together. But these are going to be the treat boxes here, but you could cut them up and make them into other things if you didn't need treat boxes. All right. I'm going to pause here and tell you the colors that are in this kit because it's not Cajun craze. It is pumpkin pie. It's basic black, gorgeous, great pumpkin pie and whisper white. All right. Next up uh, for our supplies that are in this kit, we've got our, our 20 treat boxes for their foil, which is kind of cool. Then we have a sheet of die cuts that are coordinating. Now these look copper to me. These are um, tags, they're foil die cut tags. They're all cut out here. And they're they're pumpkin pie, but I, I don't know. I really like this color. It's a little bit darker. It's more like a burnt sienna. And this to me looks copper and you know how I feel about copper, right? Love it. So again, these don't have to be Halloween things. If we're making alternate projects, we could totally go, totally go rogue with that. But we're not gonna do that today. Today we're gonna make what's in the, in the box. We'll do that in the next video in the next paper pumpkin video. All right, so next up we have a sheet of vellum. These are vellum circle die cuts. I don't know if you can see the circles on there. They pop out, they're, they're little circle die cuts there. Super cool, I love vellum, so that's awesome. We will be seeing what we do with that in just a minute. And then we have five sheets of, um, laser, let's see, one sheet of laser cut elements. There's one, two, three, okay, so what's that? One sheet of foil tags, one sheet of vellum, 
one sheet of laser cut elements. Let me just make sure that I've got everybody in line here. These must be the laser cut elements. Okay, these are super cute. Let me just tell you, I don't know if you can see this really good. I'm gonna pop one out and show you. Yeah, these would be, you know what else? Bobby saying, uh, Robbie saying this would be great for a Halloween party. Um, what, what else is cool about these is, I, I mean, I don't normally give out Halloween cards. I do would I would definitely give a, give out little goodie bags to friends or to you know, my you know if I had coworkers I have a little assistant that I'm going to give her to give her one of these two she's hopefully not watching this but they're also great for birthdays like if somebody has a birthday in the fall they're getting Halloween themed cards from me they're gonna they're gonna say happy birthday not happy Halloween but I just love it I love a reason to make them so what I wanted to point out about these laser cut tat dies here I don't know if you can see it in my hand but these are bones. The spider web has bones around the edges. And then in the center, we've got the little skull head. <laughs> How cute is that? Come on. Oh, what will they think of next? So that there is one of the die. That's the laser cut die cut sheet. And then there's five. It says five sheets of die cut elements. So there's actually two of these purples here. So then we've got these look like little tombstone tags here that, that pop, pop out little tombstones. So that's one. Then we've got the purple and black tags. We've got two sheets of those. And then we've got two sheets of skeletons and hands when you need an extra hand. But um, Yeah, I know. It's a good thing I didn't go into a stand-up comedian for a, for a living, right? I probably would be starving. <laughs> oh, but come on. Need a hand? All right, I know I crack myself up. I needed a good laugh today, and this that definitely that's this is there's nothing but fun when it comes to Halloween stuff for me at least. You know, it makes me smile. I love all the goodies. So, what we're looking at is most of the contents of the kit. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna just put the vellum over here. I just want you to be able to kind of see it all, what's included, so you can see the value because these are really a great deal. In addition to being super fun and and being a great way to build on your supplies. And you can, and you can burn anything. I wish I bought two. You can buy uh, multiples. You can buy as many as you want each month. You just have to do it before the 10th. Okay. And here are black clothespins. Oh, thank you, Cindy. She says she loves the video so far. She's going to ask her granddaughter how to get to my blog. If you have Safari or any browser on your phone or your computer, just go to stampwithtammy.com. The, the URL is right. Let's see if I can. There. See it right there? It's Tammy, T-A-M-I. Um, so these are little clothespins. We're going to put our tags on. I can see the picture that we're going to put our tags on with that. And the last thing we have here is adhesive. We've got um, 50 little mini glue dots. And this is cool. First time ever in a paper pumpkin kit. These just came out these month, this month. These are dimensionals. They're pop-up uh, foam pop dots, but they're black. So they just came out this month in the mini catalog, and here they are, bam -o, new product in our uh, paper pumpkin for this month. So all of this came in this cool, cool little paper pumpkin box that I'm going to be making a haunted house out of after this. <laughs> okay, so let's let's get into the stamping. So first thing we're going to do, and I'll, I'll probably move all this off the table here so we can focus on the fun, focus on the stamping. We have instructions inside here. I'm going to start with step one. I will try to go along, follow along for you guys. And let's see, there's two different uh, boxes. I'll, I'll do one of each here. So I'm going to leave out one of each of those. And if you are new to Paper Pumpkin and this is your first time subscribing, you are going to get an acrylic block with your um, paper pumpkin kit. You only, get, you only get one on your first month. You really only need one because uh, the, the stamps just peel on and off here. And then you can store them in the box. You can store them in the clear mount case and download the, the PDF insert off my blog if you want to. Um, and someone's asking about the dimensionals and are they minis? Where did I just put them? They are minis. These are minis, yes. Okay. So our first step says assemble the treat boxes. So since we're going to do both of these, let's assemble both treat boxes. Um, unfortunately, this one is, you need to subscribe by the 10th of each month. So this one is no longer available. We are now in the subscription period for October, which will be holiday, which I can guarantee are going to be awesome. And um, there may be refills to this kit, which will be everything but the ink pad and the stamp set in my online store, but probably those will be another week before those show up. 
um, and that they do another run for people whose cards didn't go through and then whatever's left over will show up uh, the, the refills will show up in my online store okay so I'm just putting that right so did you see that did I did I I mean this, these were super easy to put together but I should probably have done it a little bit slower I'll do the second one a little bit slower sorry here we go so this is how the box comes oh, the foils. even if you weren't making Halloween treats you could use these boxes for for treats and decorate it differently for those of you who aren't like me and loving Halloween stuff I know everybody has different different things that they're into. Okay. Sorry. I wanted to give that one a good burnish before I put it on that because it's it's being naughty on me. Okay, so these two tabs go in and then this come on. That tab goes. There we go. Got it! <laughs> the other one was so much easier. All right, so there's little um, little holes. There's like a little keyhole on the either side, and then a handle that you want to pop out. These are like little mini gable boxes. These little treat boxes. You could totally use refills with a different stamp set, yes, or you could use them with the same stamp set, or you could do something completely different. Lots of options with these guys. And if you were making little Halloween treats for school or for coworkers or for your grands these would be so cute, right? So adorbs. All right, so we've got our two boxes put together. That was step one. Okay, made it through step one. Step two, it says stamp the sentiments on the labels and stamp the skulls on the purple tag. Okay, so we've got black and purple tags, one for each. We've got a purple on one and a black on the other, so we'll go ahead and pop them one of these each out. Catherine's giving the advice because I was fumbling a little bit with the box and she said the u-shaped piece goes first and then the two sides so if I had done them the opposite way they, that would have gone easier what is that what you're saying the u-shaped piece goes first so she's saying do it this way and then this in and then the opposite piece I'm not seeing that I'm thinking it goes this way so, all right, sorry. Okay, so we've got our two tags. We're going to do some stamping. Let's see what pieces we want to stamp on. We want one of each of these little um, pumpkins for our tags. And we are going to, now I have two blocks out here because I'm cheating because I have blocks, extra blocks. If you don't, you can just use the same block and just peel your stamp on and off. And put the new one on if you only have one block with you. So let's see. The words here are bon appetit, bone, not bon, bone. We've got toxic treats, happy Halloween, and trick or treat. I'm gonna go just happy Halloween fit in there. I think I'm gonna go with happy Halloween. I'm not gonna call them toxic, they're not gonna be toxic, although that is cute. <laughs> if you're having a party, you may want that. Okay, so. We've got the, our little ink spot here ready to roll. These are again the same colors as our full size ink pads and they use the same re inkers. So I'm just going to stamp Happy Halloween on both of these right in the center. One for each box. And then we are going to take the skulls and stamp them on the purple tag. Oops, so you know what? I can use the same block and just flip that over. Use the other side. Okay. Oh, somebody wants me to zoom in. Usually you guys are yelling at me to zoom out. All right, I'm happy to zoom in. Absolutely. There we go. Okay, so usually I have zoom police on here. <laughs> I'm joking. I am totally joking. All right, so the skulls look like they're kind of randomly stamped around this little purple tag. So let me just get a little piece of scrap paper out here because we're going to stamp off it. We're going to get messy. Not really, but we're going to stamp off the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to ink this up each time I'm stamping. We, we're doing gorgeous grape on gorgeous grape. The color on color. There we go. Cute, right? Next. All right, that was step two. Did it. Check. 
<laughs> Step three says, adhere the vellum circles and the bone web die cuts to the tags using adhesive dots. All right, so here's where I'm going to differ just a little bit from um, the kit. So I'm going to take out our little die cut, the bone that we showed earlier. We're going to take that out. We want a uh, vellum circle for each. So we're going to put two of those out, one for each box. And let's see. So where I, I know I just said I was going to do something a little different. I'm actually just using my box of mini glue dots because they're easier. <laughs> oh, that's a cute idea. Melly says she likes to stamp her tags while they're still on the sheet. That is a very that is a very good suggestion. All right, so looks like these guys just mini glue dot underneath here. That's gonna sometimes the vellum things do show through on vellum, so you want to make sure that you put that adhesive where it's not going to show. So that's gonna be covered up with our tag. And um, let's see, this one same thing, one mini glue dot. And then a mini glue dot on our little skull, little spider web here. They are so stinking cute, aren't they, Bridget? Oh my god, I love it. Seriously, the little bones, they're killing me. All right, so we got that. And right here, both skeleton die cuts and labels using dimensionals. All right, I'm on step four. Ha ha ha. This is the step I, I, I voted, I was going off. Going off road and on. We'll see how well I do here. Can you guys still see okay here? Um, all right. So I guess we get our choice of which skeleton we want to use here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out this guy. And I'm just, I see that we're using these hands um, in a later step. So I'm going to punch a couple of those out too while we have that here. Okay, so we are going to use these mini glue, I mean the mini dimensionals right here. And that's going to go on the back of these guys. Now, the beautiful thing about these black um, dimensionals is they don't show on black. So, no, our dimensionals have always been white, which is, they're great. I mean, white is still good. Most people don't peek. But sometimes things do kind of, edges might show through. And so when you have these black ones, they don't. I'm just going to stick that right in the middle. I feel like I'm all right now. Let's do this. I don't want to stick it in the middle because I don't want to go over that little skull because it's so cute. And it's like for a minute there, I thought I was already, I was starting my off-roading, but then I deferred back. All right. So we have to attach our skeleton, our skeleton too. Oh my goodness. Lots of exclamation points there, Diana. It's on the, the resource page of this. Um, I'm sorry. Let me just repeat that. Diana, with a lot of question marks, is asking where the haunted house is. It is on the resource page. That is um, that is actually a, an alternate project that one of the designers at Stampin' Up! made. And there is a template on my, the resource page of my blog that you will find that on. In fact, if anybody's popping in late and do, don't, don't know what um, Diane is talking about, this is it right here. Um, it is a little haunted house that's made out of the actual box, the actual paper pumpkin box, not the kit. Um, and some of the pieces that were in the kit, so stinking cute. And I have the, the template on my blog that you can um, download. So just click on the resource page, which you'll find in this video's description, or you can go to stampwithtammy.com and you will find um, you'll find it there under Paper Pumpkin, or right now you'll find it on the main page. All right, so I just put some little dimensionals on our little skeleton while I was talking. And I can talk and stamp at the same time sometimes. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We got our little tags put together. I, I feel like I'm done with step four. Check on to step five. And let's see, we are going to adhere the die cut hands to clothespins using mini glue dots. So these little guys are coming into play now. Let's move this stuff out of the way so you guys can see. We've got our boxes here. I'm going to back up just a hair. Just I want you to be able to see everything that's happening here and I, I feel like I might be using a little bit more space down here. Okay, so we want two clothespins. 
and here's how I'm doing the mini glue dots. I'm using the roll, but you can use the ones that came in the kit, obviously, especially if that's all you have. All right, so I'm taking this and sticking it right to that clothespin, sticking it right to the mini glue dot. So the glue dots are stuck. You guys can see that, okay? They're stuck right there onto that clothespin, and then I'm sticking the hand to it. Rather than sticking the glue dots on the hand and not sure if they're going to actually be lined up with this, clothespin and rather than taking my finger and sticking them on like a middleman I just find that that's the easiest way and the quickest and best way to line them up is just to stick that clothespin I'm going to put two on each right to the mini glue dot you could absolutely make a house out of regular paper pumpkin boxes in fact next month you can make a house make that same house instead of a haunted house out of the, the, the holiday boxes, you can make it into like a, a Christmas castle or, or another, you know, gingerbread house or something for the holidays. You, there's so many things you could do with that template, that haunted house template that's on my blog. So fun. Okay. So, wow, I might actually make it through. We are down. We're, I've done check step four of five. We are now on to wait, wait, five of five. Now on to the last one. Wait, I think I can handle this one. I gotta show you right so we're here we're on step five and this one says clip the tags to the treat boxes all right so they're gonna clip right here on the top using that oh my gosh did I put that oh no I thought I put the hand upside down I'm gonna point that out okay so see how it looks like the hand is holding that tag can you see that the hand is pointing down let me just point that out so you so when you do this you have your hand you don't put it upside down so it looks like the hands waving and the tags just floating in midair okay so here um, see the opening make sure that the fingers are on the same side as the opening so that it's that's lined up right okay oh uh -huh, Sonal just got her kit today too yep I got mine today too sometimes I get mine you know around the same time as everybody else and sometimes I feel like I get mine after everybody else <laughs> It's random because they kind of go out and, and um, they don't all go out together. You know, they go out in um, batches. So it's kind of random and they're not the same every month. Sometimes you're soon, sometimes you're not. Okay, so these are our stinking cute. How freaking adorable, right? These are our little tag boxes, treat boxes, I'm sorry. You can put little candies in here. You can put other stuff in here. You can put little you know, little trinkets and Halloween goodies. You can give them, again, the grands at work to your, you know, friends to, you can take them to school. All kinds of cute things you can do with these boxes. Hopefully there will be refill kits available. They, they do sell out fast. So if I do post that refill kits are available and you want one, get on there fast because they usually go within a day. Um, and there are going to be, there are already some alternate projects here from Stampin' Up um, using the same supplies. So these are kind of fun. I will have my own alternate project coming within the next couple of weeks. I'll be on vacation next week, so it may be a, maybe a little bit longer than normal, but I promise I will have it on there as soon as I can. And um, what else? This is the only other thing I wanted to make sure I, I, I said in case you are late jumping on here. It is the um, upcoming kits, the Winter Wonders. There's going to be two kits, one in October and one in uh, November that will coordinate with each other. The details are on my blog. You can subscribe on my blog. Make sure you subscribe by the 10th to get your October kit. And thanks for joining me for these super fun projects. Uh, again, be sure to leave a comment and I will draw the winner of our live drawing immediately following. Thanks.